Hey boys and girls, welcome to our third week. Take out your scholastic news. Why is this river green? Um, don't forget to take out this worksheet. Remember, this does not have to be due on Monday. This you can do throughout the entire week. So if you want to do a page a day or finish the packet and do one of these pages each day, it's completely up to you as long as it's completed by Friday for your science grade. <clears throat> Let's get started. Remember, you can go on to this link up at the top to watch a video about St. Patrick's Day. I know we're a little behind St. Patrick's Day, but that's all right. We're going to keep reading about it. So the title says, Why is this river green? On St. Patrick's Day, the Chicago River turns bright green. Find out how it gets that way. Open up your packets. Okay, we're going to do the read and think as we read. So... Number one says read, step one, get leprechaun dust, then stop. Okay, then we're going to answer the question. Okay, so how to turn a river green. As you read, think about the steps it takes to make the Chicago River green. The caption says, the workers pour dye into the water. On St. Patrick's Day, you see a lot of green. People wear green and eat green foods. That's because St. Patrick's Day celebrates the country of Ireland, and green makes people think of Ireland's green countryside. In the city of Chicago, people celebrate St. Patrick's Day in a shocking way. They dye a whole river green. How do they do it? Step one, get leprechaun dust. A team of about eight people works together to dye the river green. They use a powder called leprechaun dust to do it. What is leprechaun dust? That's a secret. The workers won't tell anyone how to make it. Here's one thing we do know. Leprechaun dust is actually orange. So how does it make water green? That's another St. Patrick's Day secret. All right. So our first question is, what is leprechaun dust? What did we learn? It is a powder, okay? But we don't know what type of powder. So for what is leprechaun dust, we're gonna write, it is a powder. But why don't we know what it is? What did it say? It said leprechaun dust is a secret. We know it's a powder, but the rest of it is a secret. What is it referring to in the sentence? It refers to the leprechaun dust. Nice job. Number two, read step two, pour it in, then stop. All right. Here we are. Step two, pour it in. On St. Patrick's Day morning, the workers get on a boat. They travel down the river and pour out the leprechaun dust. As soon as the orange powder touches the water, the water turns green. There's one problem with leprechaun dust. It's messy. It gets everywhere. By the end of the day, the workers are covered in orange dye. It's all over their clothes. Their fingernails are orange too. They will stay that way for weeks. Let's look at our packet again. When does the leprechaun dust turn green? What did it say? When does it turn green? Okay, find that one. If you need to pause the video and go back, you may do so. Do so right now. Um, number three, read step three, mix it up, then stop. All right. Step three, mix it up. Now the river is green in the spots where the workers poured the leprechaun dust, but they want the whole river to be green. They need to stir it up. Another boat goes back and forth across the river. It stirs up the water and disperses the leprechaun dust. That means it spreads the dye through the water. After about 45 minutes, the river is bright green. So number three, what do people use to mix up the leprechaun dust? What did it say that they use? The people, do they use a big spoon? No, they use a boat. The people use a boat to mix up the leprechaun dust. 
Remember, you can pause the video if you need more time writing this. So I wrote, the people use a boat to mix up the leprechaun dust. Number four, read step four, let it fade, then stop. How long does the river stay green is a question that we're going to answer. Step four, let it fade. Will the river be green forever? Nope, the color fades after a few days. The workers say the dye doesn't harm the water or the environment. Soon, the river will be back to normal. The tricky leprechaun dust will have disappeared. We may never know what's in leprechaun dust. We may never know why it makes water turn green, but we know one thing. We'll see it every year on St. Patrick's Day. Here we go, there's the leprechaun dust. And the caption says, some of the leprechaun dust gets on the boat and turns it orange. Do you see that? And then down below the caption, the river stays green for a few days. So now, how long does the river stay green? The river stays green, and we just reread it again. For what? And I'll let you finish that sentence. The river stays green for, make sure you finish it, okay? Let's turn the page. Let's read over the back side, and then we'll come back to the packet. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You'll see a lot of green on St. Patrick's Day. Here are three other things you may see. Flags. The Irish flag has three stripes. They are green, white, and orange. People wave flags of all sizes. Shamrocks. I see a lot of shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day. Shamrocks are plants with three leaves. They look like clover. Some people and dogs wear shamrocks. And the last one is bagpipes. Many cities have parades on St. Patrick's Day. People march and play an instrument called bagpipes. Number one, what is a shamrock? An instrument, a plant, a flag. Number two, where are there parades on St. Patrick's Day? Only in Chicago, only in Ireland, in many cities. Number three, which of these colors is not on the Irish flag? Blue, green, white. And number four, what do people do with bagpipes? Put water in them, carry food in them, play them. And then your bonus down below, why do you think people wave Irish flags on St. Patrick's Day? All right, I'm gonna leave this right here so that I can come back to it after, as we go through our next two pages. Remember, you can pause this video at any time and come back to it another day. Do not feel like you have to do it all in one day. All right, why is this river green? Number one, what is this article mostly about? What's that main idea? A, different St. Patrick's Day traditions. B, how people dye a river green for St. Patrick's Day. Or C, leprechaun stories. Number two, how do people mix up the leprechaun dust in the water? A, they drive a boat back and forth across the river. B, they stir the water with a big spoon. C, they swim back and forth across the river. Number three, when something disperses, it A, stays still, B, spreads out, or C, turns into a different color. So remember, as the boats were going through the water, the um, orange dye or the leprechaun dust dispersed. So what would that mean? Number four, look at the caption on the bottom of page three. It tells you what. It tells you what leprechaun dust is made of, the year people started dyeing the river green, how long the water stays green. Pause the video and go back and look. Number five, why do you think the author wrote this article? A, to explain why St. Patrick's Day is a holiday. B, to explain the steps of dyeing a river green. C, to tell the story of how leprechaun dust got its name. And our last page in the packet is a word work. Number one, when you dye something, you change its size, change its color, clean it up. Think about tie dyeing. What do you do when you tie dye? 
Two, what color do people dye the Chicago River for St. Patrick's Day? You just have to write one word what the color is. Three, what color is the leprechaun dust before it hits the water? Then you can color in the picture to show these two colors. So here it is before it hits the water. What color would you color the water? Number four, what does it mean to disperse something? Spread it out, bring it together, make it green. And number five, true or false, leprechaun dust does not harm the environment. That is true, or is that false that it does harm the environment? Great job, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the Scholastic News.